What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to this video. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We're pumping out at least three videos a week right now and everything on this channel is about helping you guys catch more bass. So if you're not subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe. But today we're gonna talk about my top five baits for February bass fishing. Um, it, it's a little weird. We're sitting here on the shores of Toledo Bend for the first Bass Pro Tour event, and I'm in shorts and a t-shirt talking about February bass fishing. But these baits I'm about to talk about, they'll work all over the country regardless of the weather you're in for the month of February. So if you guys are ready, let's jump in and, and talk about some baits. All right, so like I said, we're sitting here on the shores of Toledo Bend. The uh, Bass Pro Tour season has officially kicked off and uh, it's hard to believe it's already here, but we are rolling and uh, it's, it's time to uh, get back to catching a bunch of bass. So we got a couple events here in February and I think these baits right here are gonna be a staple on the Bass Pro Tour and really all over the country. So anywhere you have open water right now, if you're getting out bass fishing, you could catch a bass on some of these baits. So my first choice, and you guys see me talk about this all year long, and that's gonna be a jerk bait. So this here is the Bill Lewis Scope Stick. This is the 100 size, so it's a little bit smaller. Suspending model. I don't know if you guys can see, but this one's got teeth marks all over it. She's all chewed up, um, but this, jerk bait right here excellent for cold water february fishing you know this is generally going to be for your little bit clearer water so you want to find those areas that have some bait fish have some clearer water that's when i'm going to throw the jerk bait you know february generally your water is going to be pretty cold so your retrieve is going to be a little bit slower you're going to want to pause that bait really let it sit there and milk in front of those fish so i would give it you know between say two and five second pauses is a good rule of thumb just to start with and you know you can always speed it up slow it down let the fish tell you what you want but i would say in february you're going to want to start with about two to five second pauses between twitches on your jerk bait but hard to beat a jerk bait all year long but definitely february i'm always going to have one on the deck next up we're sticking with treble hooks and this is going to be for more of your your dirty water um, I mean, I guess this would work in your clear water too, but just a shallow running crankbait. So like a six foot diving crankbait. This is the Bill Lewis MR6. You know, there's plenty of different six foot diving crankbaits. And this is going to be for more of your rock fishing, riprap, bridges, natural rock banks, anything that you can just cover water, throw a bait parallel with the bank, get it down to that four to six foot range and uh, you're going to catch a bunch of fish. Definitely red. Early in the year, January, February, March, red is killer. It just triggers those fish in cold water. The crawfish are very red early in the year, so you can't beat a red crankbait early in the year. So the Bill Lewis MR6 makes the cut at number two on my list. Next up, we are going with, we're sticking with the treble hooks, and this will be my last treble hook bait that makes the list for February baits. And that's gonna be a trap. So this here is a, um, this is the new Bill Lewis hammer trap. So it's cool bait. I, I actually did a deep dive video on the hammer trap. If you guys wanna check out that video on the channel, but um, very unique bait. It shimmies on the fall. It has a three different sound frequencies in there. So it makes a lot of noise and it triggers a lot of fish. You can fish this bait really any type of structure. You can fish it over grass, you can fish it over gravel, over rock, over open water. Really, there's so many ways you can fish the lipless. For me, I like more of a yo-yo and type retrieve. So I like to reel this bait real fast, get it going, and then pause it and just kind of let it shimmy down. I reel it real fast, and then pause it, let it shimmy down. And that's a lot of times when you're gonna get those bites when this bait is shimmying down. It just looks like a, a dying shad and uh, it triggers a lot of fish out of grass. You know, if you get this bait hung up in grass and kind of snap it out of that grass and then let it flutter down, a lot of those fish will just kind of trigger. They don't even want to bite, but when it snaps in front of them like that, they eat it. So 
the hammer trap, really just any lipless crankbait is a must have for February. Um, you've seen so many tournaments won and top 10 finishes on lipless crankbaits in February. So it's a must have for February bass fishing. All right, next up we're gonna go with, this is for a little bit slower type fishing. And that is a good old fashioned jig. So I like a little bit smaller, compact jig. So this is actually a prototype jig from Epic Baits that Wesley Strader has designed. So this is just a little half ounce flipping jig. And then I'm adding a, a craw type trailer. So this is the, the three inch Yamamoto Yamacraw new bait that just recently come out. And I actually like to cut a little bit of it down. So we're gonna just cut that first little notch off the top there, just like that. Kind of just shortens the profile up a little bit and uh, gives you just enough bulk for those big pre-spawn fish. So I went with black and blue here just cause, you know, there's been a bunch of rain this year. So typically the water is gonna be muddy right now but that right there nice little compact jig craw type trailer you know it has just enough action not too much but just enough action that this bait you can uh you can drag it real slow you can kind of flip it and pitch it pretty quick but this is going to be target fishing you know whether it's docks brush piles lay downs that type of stuff you know basically if i had a one-two punch for fishing the bank in february it would be the mr6 and a black and blue jig. You take these two baits, you could fish down any bank in the country in February and catch a bass between these two. So the black and blue jig is just an excellent follow-up to the faster moving crankbait. You know, this is a much slower bait, so you can fish it and put it into targets and uh, definitely a fish catcher all year long, but February, a black and blue jig is hard to beat. So last up, probably my favorite for a little bit selfish reasons. That would be this right here, the Scope Shad. And this is Becker's Grape Juice. So this is my exclusive keller that's available at fishusa.com. That's the only place it's available. But it's a very natural looking shad keller in the little three inch Scope Shad. So this is gonna be a staple in my boat in February for those deep fish on a, a Damiki rig or hover strolling, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I just take a, a little ball head jig head and rig him up. And this bait is for using your forward facing sonar, putting this bait right on top of the fish that are feeding on bait fish and just kind of dangling it and jiggling it right there in front of them and they can't resist it. So this bait catches them all year long, but in February, more of that clear water, you know, kind of goes back to the jerk bait situation. So these kind of be the one, two punch here for that little bit deeper, clearer water. You know, you got the jerk bait and the Damiki rig with the scope shed. Those will be your one, two punch for the clear water. Fish that are feeding heavily on bait fish, deeper water, you can get this scope shad down to them, put it right in front of their face and dangle it around and uh, they cannot resist that. So that right there is, is like I said, Becker's grape juice and that is my absolute favorite color all year long, but definitely in that cold water just because that bait fish gets a little bit of a purple hue to it when the water's cold and uh, that grape juice imitates that perfectly. So that's it guys, I appreciate you guys watching. That's my top five baits for February. 2024 hopefully you guys learned something let me know if you guys are getting out in the water this month and uh, hopefully you guys are reeling in your first bass of the year here real soon so do me a favor hit that subscribe if you haven't already leave those comments down below and uh, we'll see you guys next time